if um, you come out the first game and you look too good, then it looks like you don't need any coaching. So, you know, I don't know if that's job security or not, but um, we've got a lot of work to do. And uh, so, you know, we just got to go get it done. Um, you know, it just wasn't uh, – there were good things that happened there. I think uh, you know, we were talking today before films as a team how, you know, kids were watching games and they're like, oh, they didn't look very good. Oh, they didn't look very good. I said, well, you know, that first game, it's hard to – you know, it's it's hard to get everybody on the same page, especially with so many new guys. And and uh, I was just I, I was more disappointed. Most disappointing thing I was is I felt like we we quit on the game when we got when we got ahead, and maybe those guards got so tired. But having to go small was disappointing. I was hoping we'd be able to. In, in early in the, in the first half, we did a pretty good job. I mean, they're five guards, and so I, I wanted our bigs to be able to exploit. And you know, but yet, you know, that broke down at the start of the second half, and our bigs just couldn't couldn't guard that smaller person so we had to adjust and get by and you know and probably the the most disappointing thing is Branford's injury and it looks pretty pretty bad and uh, you know I think in um, 15 minutes here you could all see he's you know he's gonna be a pretty good player and you know uh, and a, a very capable backup there for Mike and again like we did with with uh, with Mike last year, being able to play them together a little bit as you have, you know, against teams like this and, you know, with the end of games because he can make free throws and makes good decisions. So that's going to be a big blow if, if, if it is bad as, as we fear. But, you know, I can't jump to any conclusions any more than you until they, they x ray it. I told the, told the team at that point because it looked like they, really, they picked up their play on both ends of the court. You know, uh, the whole game, I think my, my, my message was the same. You know, we need to be more active defensively and less active offensively. I mean, we, we want to use all our energy running around offensively, and, and like our wings just kept bouncing into problems. Uh, our our th three wings had, um, I think, 16 of our 26 turnovers, just trying to do more than you needed to do against a team like that. And again, that's just anxious and trying to do, you know, more than they needed to. And, uh, uh, and it wasn't at, at halftime. We had 12 turnovers from nine different guys. You know, or, or eight different guys. The only guy that didn't have a turnover was Brantford at halftime. And that's you know he's he's one of those kids that doesn't try to do too much. So you know we got to slow everybody down and and uh, and and get their confidence uh, you know up. And you know it's going to be difficult because we got a tough tough sledding coming up. At that same point. Uh what kind of seemed to turn around the game was and it's made two hustle plays for you. Is that kind of an indication that um, some of the little things are going to have to catch on, you know, team-wide for this team to develop? Yeah, I mean, this is a team, you know, when, when you're new, you're going to have to win different ways. And uh, uh, whether like today it's five guards against, you know, a Division II school or, or you know, four big guys against USC, they're so big, who knows, you know. Um, but... Uh, we, we've got to, you know, that's got to be a hard, you know, I thought Chris Gully and, and, and James really played together well and, and, and you, know, uh, you know, I'm on about their turnovers, but at least they had activity. They had activity defensively and they had activity t attacking on offense. So, you know, you can't lose that either. And uh, we just got to get, we just got to find the medium to where, you know, we're going to have the success. But James is a leader and he, he and Mike, I thought, both tried to do more than they needed to do. Coach, with so little time so far and so many new guys, how much have you been able to implement as far as what, what you guys are trying to do and, and, uh, and yeah, how does that been? Well, it's been, you know, uh, it's, it's, we're simplifying things, but we knew that coming into the year. I mean, it's just, we've been doing this long enough to know that we can't have as much in this year as we had last year at this time. And you try to take the team and evaluate where they're at every day and say, okay, can we handle another play? Uh, can we put another defense in? All those kind of things, and, and uh, try to go from there. And uh, I'm not disappointed with with what they've learned. I'm disappointed with their execution of what they've learned. They know it, but they're not comfortable enough to execute it. Chris Scully and James Ennis, do you see a little two-man game developing for them, or just run the offense and see what's open? Yeah, I mean. Two-man games are usually a big and a small uh, playing off each other. You know, I, I think they can play together, and, and they're a good combination because they're they're both so long. I mean, I, I see them 
more effective defensively than offensively. You put Mike with them, and it gives you a lot of length and athleticism uh, on the perimeter to guard. Uh, offensively, you know, I think they all play well off. I think this is a pretty unselfish team, and um, uh, yet, uh, you know, it's just it's the first game. We got a long ways to go, and you know, so we'll see what happens. Can you? Uh Talk a little bit about what you thought about Dang's first game, and he looked pretty comfortable out there. Well, he's going to be a really good player, you know. Um, uh, he's uh, very aggressive offensively. Uh, he works really hard defensively, and again, he gives us a lot of length on the perimeter. Um, he's just got to slow down, just like the other wings, and, and take what they give you, and uh, and he'll be fine. I like him. I think he's going to be a he and Branford are, are two really good freshmen. Yeah, how did you like the new the bleachers in? I love it. I just think it's a great atmosphere. You know, um, I, I think that uh, you know if we could have that you know kind of crowd every game. Uh, you know, I think you know having that other side would be awesome, and having more bleachers up top. But I, you know, until we can fill it consistently the way it is, uh, I think it's hard to justify, you know, spending the money that it costs to, to put all that in permanently. But it's it's sure a neat neat environment. I think Friday will even be, you know, uh, better. But we can't worry about Friday right now. We've got to worry about Monday. You know, we can't worry about Tuesday. You know, we're off tomorrow. But we've just got to get ourselves better and more in sync together uh, Monday so that we can. And we'll have some success on Tuesday. I mean, Friday when it comes, I think it'll be great. But you know, we've got we've got a long ways to go. It'll be <laughs> it that seems like uh, a year from now coming back here Friday. Thanks.